Hello, I'm Sherman Mishak, proud superintendent of the Bedford City School District. Providing students with a quality education certainly takes more than just teachers, textbooks, and technology. It takes approximately 250 other individuals working behind the scenes to provide this quality education. So for the next few minutes, please join me as we meet some of these individuals in their departments and share with you the vital role they play in the day-to-day -day operation of the Bedford City Schools. Regular upkeep of the district's facilities is critical to providing a positive learning environment. Just like your home, routine maintenance and upkeep prevents small problems from becoming expensive repairs over time. There, there's a lot of work to be done each and every day and there has to be a lot of planning to go into it to make sure that uh, when, when you need something to, to be working, it's working. One of the programs that we're most proud of is uh, the care and upkeep of our parking lots. We do our own crack filling, we do our ceiling, and we do our striping of all the parking lot. That saves us about $40,000 a year on top of extending the life of all those surfaces. The hard work of the maintenance staff helps extend the useful life of our facilities and ultimately saves money over the long term. Most of Bedford students ride the school bus. Drivers undergo extensive training to ensure the safe transportation of students to and from school. And the department has a nationally recognized bus refurbishing program that extends the life of a bus by seven to 10 years. Uh, we tear down the sidewalls, we take out the seats and the windows, the floor. The engines are sound and they'll keep going for years and years, but the bodies won't because Northeast Ohio, we have the snow and the salt. When we do that, uh, we save about $50,000 per bus. In total, Bedford's Transportation Department provides one million trips to and from school and to and from extracurricular activities and sporting events each year. Studies show that children who eat breakfast are less likely to become ill, miss fewer days of school, and have fewer behavior issues. That's why Bedford provides more than 1,300 breakfasts to students, in addition to preparing food for about 2,200 lunches every day. Kids are demanding more choices. It's my responsibility to offer them healthy choices. We've made every effort to provide whole grains, to provide some education, to get these kids an opportunity to choose the healthier choice. The department has a computerized system that allows students to prepay their meals. It's convenient and provides greater confidentiality for students who are on a subsidized food program. Providing quality education in the 21st century means staying on top of technology. Bedford School's technology department makes sure equipment is up to date and meets the teachers' and students' needs. Some of the electronic equipment that we have in place in the district are very important in, every, in a lot of teachers' day-to-day -day lesson plans. They're streaming videos, they're able to pull content from the web and keep the kids engaged all day long. The district is installing a new data network that will not only be faster, but also increase educational opportunities in the classroom and improve communications with parents and the community. Just like our Board of Education, our administrators, and our instructors, these departments and their staff make sure that the day-to-day -day operation of the school district goes without flaw. It's with their assistance that our students achieve at the highest levels. That being said, I'd like to leave you with my super tip of the month. Learning how to be a good citizen is a priority in the Bedford City Schools, and it starts with respect. Respect for yourselves, teachers, parents, for property, and one another. Our newest initiative this year will focus on the theme, Respect, a right and a responsibility. This theme will be integrated into every aspect of school life, from the classroom to the hallways, on the school bus, and on the playing field. By learning to respect one another, we can build an even better learning environment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around the district.